And a woman who lost her ability to speak after a stroke is now able to talk again thanks to AI. Experts say it's a medical milestone. ABC's Allison Kosick has the latest. For 18 years, Ann Johnson hasn't said one word until now. Great to see you were dead. When she was 30 years old, married with kids, Anne had a paralyzing stroke while playing volleyball, robbing her of an ability to communicate other than using a letter board. Now, artificial intelligence has helped give Anne her voice back. You are truly wonderful people. And for the first time in a long time, she spoke with her husband, Bill. I was thinking about running to the store. What time will you be home? It was an emotional moment to hear her voice again, um, you know, that we used a clip from her wedding video to kind of restore her voice the way it sounded. A team of doctors and researchers at the University of California, San Francisco and UC Berkeley discovered a way to use Anne's brain signals and translate them into words using artificial intelligence. We have electrodes that sit on the surface of Anne's brain. When she tries to move her mouth as if she was saying, a word or a sentence, we decode that activity into sounds and the avatar movements that correspond to the movements that she would have tried to make. Metzger says it's the recent advances in AI that led them to the ability to synthesize speech with the avatar. We decode Anne's brain signals using uh, new AI algorithms and they're essential to being able to do this work. ABC's Allison Kosick, thank you. And let's bring in stroke specialist Dr. Leah Kroll for more on this. Leah, what's your reaction? How significant is this breakthrough? I'm having a big reaction to this breakthrough, Diane. You know, this concept of using a brain machine interface to treat patients with neurologic diseases has been in the works for many years. Research into this started really in the 90s. But most recently, we've seen the pace of that research get really accelerated in thanks large part to AI. And so while we're not fully there yet, this is the first time that it's starting to feel like a real medical miracle is potentially in our grasp in the future. We could really restore neurologic function in patients who have lost it. So can you explain how this works for those of us who, who aren't neurologists? Explain this like I'm five. Absolutely. You know, the brain cells communicate with these electric signals. So the researchers capitalized on that electricity. They inserted these sensors within the brains of the patients and then used those sensors to pick up those electric signals and transmit them to a computer. Then an artificial intelligence algorithm decoded the signals and translated them into words. Does this open the door for other ways that AI could help stroke victims? Absolutely. You know, communication is one big piece of, of what affects stroke patients. Movement is the other major piece. And I definitely see brain computer interfaces using AI in the future to help patients regain some of their movement and overall independence back. Are, are there any concerns with this technology and anything you're kind of thinking, eh, maybe not so fast? Yeah, of course, the first concern as you know, with anything with AI, we're still learning about AI and AI is still learning about us. So we wanna make sure that it's really a reliable, safe piece of technology to, to deploy in our patients when the time comes. Right now, these models that the researchers used are not great for everyday use because they require the patient to be hardwired into kind of a large computer. So to make this technology useful in everyday life, the machines would need to be smaller, more portable, and ideally wireless. And the other issue is these are complex machines and systems. It's tough to train patients to use them. It's tough to train people to help patients use them. So right now, it's these highly trained researchers that are doing all of that work. And down the line, hopefully, we'll have more user-friendly interfaces so that doctors, nurses, caregivers at home could start using these machines as well. So how long do you think it'll be before we see this as a widespread solution for people who've lost their ability to speak? You know, I, I think it's in the foreseeable future. I think, of course, we're talking years. I mean, there's a lot of technology to work out. There's always going to be some ethical concerns to work out.
when it comes to AI. Um, but it does seem like we are really um, progressing at a rapid pace in, in this part of medical research. And it, it seems realistic to expect that within the next few years, we might have prototypes available out there. All right. So interesting. Dr. Leah Kroll, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.